In this video I'm going to do a review on a software called Harvel. Now before I actually get into the review itself, I just want to point out that Harvel are running a discounted lifetime deal at this moment in time over on AppSumo. Now the offer itself is running for the next 13 days only, so once that actually expires, it's going to go down to a monthly subscription plan. Now, I've left a discounted link in the description below to go and check out this offer if you really want to take advantage of it. So basically, Harvard itself is an automated copyright and protection for digital creators. So basically, if you create and sell digital content, um, you really want to be safeguarding your work from piracy and copyright infringement. But the problem is it's quite expensive to do that and obviously time consuming as well. So Harvel actually takes care of all this. I'm going to show you how simple and quick it is to actually protect all of your digital content using this system. So we're going to head over to the dashboard itself and I'm going to show you how simple it really is. So this is basically the Harvel dashboard. And as you can see, it's a really clean, simple design. And it literally does what it says on the tin. You can come in here, you've got your content, request whitelist um, and then a few helpful things down here um, and basically how it works um, is what happens is you'll create your content which i'm going to show you in a moment you'll create your content once you've added it to the system harvel scans the internet on a daily basis and it basically looks for your content on pirated websites and then once they detect it um, they'll showcase the links in the content tab the next process is they actually do human checks. Now, after they find where the piracy happens, the Harvel staff checks all the links to make sure it's all correct. And if it isn't, what they do is they send takedown requests to the site as well as Google in order to take down the infringed content. And they'll basically send weekly emails um, on the status of your content to you. So you know exactly how far it is um, along the system to actually uh, be taken down. You can also do manual requests as well. Okay, so if you go out there and you actually find content um, that people are sharing, you can actually make that manual request. And I'll show you how to do that shortly. So in the content area itself, this is basically where all your content's going to be. So this is really what you want protecting. Okay, so I just basically filled this out with um, like Nissite Pro and whatnot, which is like a, one of my websites. And literally all you need to do to add um, another piece of content that you want protecting is go to add new content. You put the name the URL in there and add it. And that is it. That is all you have to do. Once that's added, the system takes care of it. On the request side of it. Okay. This is where you can actually make a manual request. So, if you go out there and you find something online um, that Harvard hasn't found yet, you can basically make this manual request here, submit the URL. And in the whitelist, whitelist tab, the whitelist is basically where you're going to enter all of the URLs where your product's being sold, obviously legally. Okay. So obviously when Harvard goes out to go and check it out, um, it will look in this um, whitelist to see whether the URL that it finds your content on is actually on this whitelist and it's legitimate. And that is really how easy it is to protect all of your software using Harvel. So if you've got content that you want protecting, I think Harvel is going to be a really good system for you. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon.